But the crowd on the edge of the seats. This has been the talking point for the last month, whether this game would go ahead, and it has. Andy Porter, Vale skipper, plays it out to the right. Hill, Foyle lets it go. Ian Bogey! Shoots! And it's in the net! What an absolute dream start from Ian Bogey! And Paul Vale! The Port Vale fans are delighted. I make that 30 seconds after kickoff. Stoke City caught napping, and Port Vale with surely the quickest goal of the season here at Vale Park. Simon, how did you view that? Well, that's really put the cat off the pigeons, doesn't it, Mick? I'm a bit speechless, I have to say. Uh, an excellent goal, superb cut straight through the Stoke team. They were all half asleep, but I'm not taking anything away from the Vale. It was some lovely move. Had a beautifully taken goal. It's Neil Aspin, picks up the loose ball, plays it down the line, foil chests it down. Well, was there a push there? More than a push, I think. Vale but, wasting uh, no time, though. Just getting on with it. And that's what the public like to see. None of this lying around on the floor. Just good, firm tackle. And look at that. McCarthy in space. Plays it through. Hill going in. Sanford, though. Clears it upfield, only as far as McCarthy, Bogey, Andy Hill. Referees that does a nutmeg. Glover with the snapshot. And Prudo on his guard this time. Good save by Mark Prudo. Great awareness there in the Stoke goal. But Port Vale. The referee helped it on with a nutmeg. Glover turns, bang. But Mark Prudo there, standing firm. Still Vale 1, Stoke City 0. Sanford takes it, 1-2 to Beeston. Uh, well, not quite a 1-2. OK, 1-2 okay, with Porter. Last bit of play by Porter. Releases Bogey, he's going forward. Some space. Nobody's going forward to tackle him. And it's a chance now for Glow to shoot. And a powerful shot, and again. The only powerful shots are coming from Port Vale. But Ian Bogey, though, being forced back, looks up, centres on into the box. Intended for McCarthy, but Prudo waiting and Prudo spotting Kevin Keane in space. And straight away, Stoke, look at this, up to the halfway line. Two passes. Goes back out to Keane. Beeston urging him forward. Kevin Keane down the left flank, cuts inside McCarthy. Plays it to Wallace, Sheeran, Sheeran in space. Good shot and Sheeran oh. there, off the inside of the post, across the line and out behind for the goal kick. Stoke without a doubt, the best move in the match, Simon. Without a doubt, that was a lovely, lovely move. I thought it had broke down, I thought it lost its momentum when it went behind uh, Kevin Keane on this line, but a lovely piece of play there by Sheeran, as I said early on. He's really come on leaps and bounds since he uh, joined Stoke from Norwich. He knows where the net is, and you've got to say he was unlucky not to uh, find the net with that shot. Hit the inside of the post, went right across the face of goal and out for a goal kick. Again, Stoke fans urging their team on to get back on level terms before half time. Obviously, like to uh, like to go in without being behind. It, uh, in these conditions, it can't be uh, can't be much fun chasing the lead, but. Uh, we could be chasing uh, chasing the two goal leader carry on like this but, uh, back with Vale and now Stoke and then Vale now Stoke and uh, it's all very very scrappy the referee wants to get in and sort this out quickly and in the end he awards the free kick Carl Beeston, Carl Beeston yes. he's in the book once he's got to cut that out if it's one failing he has as a player maybe he's, he's too fired up when he pulls on that red and white shirt, but he's just got to control it. But Vale, spray the ball out to Steve Guppy. He cuts in field, gets the cross in. Well, oh, and that wasn't very far off at all, and the head, knew it. The header off Griffith, it's, it's, it's taking the deflection, it's a corner to the Vale. But Stoke City looking very shaky at the back there. 32 years of age, Mark Prudo. Turned down the chance of a move to Liverpool last season. But hasn't he stuck to his guns and taken his chances well this season, Simon? He certainly has. He was out of the side for quite some time. Battled his way back in and now he's definitely made that number one shirt his own. And 
the other Stoke goalkeepers are acknowledging that there's no way that the manager could drop him. He is playing so well. He's kept five clean sheets out of the last six games. Well, five out of the last seven now, including this game. But he is certainly uh, keeping Stoke in the promotion chase. And he was credited with bringing home one point from Sheffield United when the rest of the team hadn't really deserved it. Well, surely well, Nigel Gleghorn, the referee, will have a word with him after that challenge. Made no contact for the ball, went straight for the player. But that player was John McCarthy, the man on the ball now. Turns back, waits for support, finds it in Andy Hill. Hill finds Foyle. The bounce doesn't drop for him, though. Comes to Glover. They'll build again. Back to McCarthy. In it comes. Sigurdsson avoids Martin Foyle. And Stoke City play that ball up in the air. Sheeran's made a lovely run. Mike Sheeran. Can he get a shot in here? Well, Simon, an absolutely glorious ball played through from Ray Wallace there. Pin perfect for Sheeran. He'd beaten Griffiths for pace. But the final effort just letting him down. The shot going over the bar. Goal kick to Vale. But Port Vale, very lucky there. John Rudge in the dugout below is sending out the subs to keep warm. Now, is he playing a tactical switch for the remaining minutes? But that ball played up towards Clarkson. Porter there. Foyle goes in. Glover. Porter. Lee Glover. Tries to batter his way through Stoke. Oh, look at the red shirts there, holding firm. Guppy, Clarkson. Clarkson plays it up the line. Guppy, though, good play by Steve Guppy. Outside of the foot, Ian Bogie now joins the fray. And Stoke City win the throw in. Well, it's so, ferocious stuff, Mac, isn't it? Well, it's got the crowd up, and that's the main thing. Oh, good move by Sturridge. Cross comes in. Clear oh, that field, Andy Porter. That's the way. Glover. Seemed to be Guppy. sitting in that six-yard box for an eternity then. Well, just long enough for Vale to clear it, Simon. Must be the last chance of the match for Stoke City. Oh, it comes. And Porter is leading the way forward again for Port Vale. He plays it down the line. Walker, fresh legs, in space. Naylor in space. Foil up there. Up goes Naylor, but the cross is short, and Bruno, up it goes, and that's it. The Pottery's derby ends with a victory for Port Vale. 12 seconds into the first half, Ian Bogey fires the Vale into a shock lead. And I say a shock lead because it took everyone by surprise. Vale have held on, and Stoke City have had their moments in the second half, but unfortunately unable to break down the defensive pairing of Gareth Griffiths and Neil Aspin, every player out there, Stoke or Vale, they've earned their money tonight.